Hey Dave, this is Dave Jarvis coming to you from Afton, Minnesota. Uh, we are located um, right on the border of Wisconsin. We're about 20 minutes east of St. Paul, 30 minutes east of Minneapolis. And you know, first I, I just want to thank you for what you're doing. I, I think it's awesome. Uh, in fact, you're you're doing more than than our state governments are doing. Uh, to be honest with you, I think it's just amazing. Uh, I'm humbled to 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 be here to send this and submit this to you. Um, where do I start? I, you know, this business, these restaurants have been in my family uh, for over 45 years. My parents bought this uh, restaurant in 1976. My brother's involved, so we're just a, we're a small family-owned business. And uh, I thank you for sticking up for the little guys. Um, it's been, I don't even know where to begin, it's been an emotional roller coaster of a year. Uh, to tell our story, um, I should probably just, you know, show you around a little bit. Uh, but we're one of the oldest operating restaurants in the state of Minnesota. Uh, the Afton House Inn has been around for over 150 years. In fact, we are the oldest uh, hotel in the state of Minnesota. We have a 25-room boutique hotel. And, you know, as operators, it's literally blood, sweat, and tears that we put into our operations. This is our uh, hotel front desk area. My brother's in the office. This is a, normally a small little fine dining uh, room that uh, we're really not doing a whole lot with right now. I'm gonna walk you down the hall. <clears throat> uh, right now, we're at 50% capacity uh, with a 10 p.m. curfew. So we have to uh, tell our guests to leave by 10 p.m. This is our, uh, our main dining room. Uh, normally, we would do weddings in here, uh, small uh, company events, meetings. We used to do a lot of corporate events, um, but with the shutdowns um, and restrictions, uh, not so much anymore. Uh, I'm just walking down the hallway by some guest rooms. And, um, you know, we've been essentially shut down or under restrictions for the last... 11 months, uh, our wonderful government thought it would be better to have 300 people at a uh, Costco than 30 people at a restaurant. And one thing we did is we set up these uh, dining tables in our hotel room uh, when we could not operate. Um, it was a way for us to bring back just a few employees. Um, but one of the most frustrating things, uh, Dave and, and everyone, is that I'll show you here. That's Wisconsin right there. We're in Minnesota. If you see that hill, uh, that's Wisconsin with the St. Croix River in between it. And I could slingshot uh, a water balloon and hit my buddy's dock. That's how close we are. But throughout this whole time, Wisconsin's been open. And we've either been shut down or uh, under restrictions. So we've been watching all these cars fly by our restaurants in Minnesota to head over to Wisconsin. And, uh, you know, if you saw the video that I did, it went viral. It was literally every license plate in Wisconsin in a, in a small town bar area was from Minnesota. It was Minnesota, 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 Minnesota. So, um, you know, we're doing everything we can. And um, we have dinner boats on the St. Croix River as well. So as you can imagine, uh, company events were non-existent last year. And uh, a lot of the weddings are pushed off. We have no idea what's going to happen in 2021, um, and we don't even know if our government's going to shut us down again. We, I just read in the paper with this UK strain, uh, the most prestigious uh, infectious disease doctor in our area says that shutdowns might happen again. So we're concerned. You know, this is our this is our little wine bar here. Uh, we've got a total of eight tables right now, and. Um, like I said, we're just, we're doing the best that we can. Um, we're involved with our community. We're trying to help those around us um, and, and just stay, al stay alive, right? I mean, we want to be serving uh, New Amsterdam's uh, Pink Whitney in another 150 years from now. So I'm just, I'm really humbled uh, to be sending this to you. Uh, again, I think what you're doing is absolutely awesome, Dave keep up the great work. Um, we're going to continue to fight the great fight and uh, I'd be honored if you consider us uh, uh, for the Bar Stool Relief Fund.
Thank you.